and we are there. I couldn't work out whether to cheer or to be sad about it. I've kind of enjoyed a full day of just making YouTube videos all day. I've not done I've not done much content recently. Usually when I do this kind of thing, I spread it over a few days and kind of put it out over a few days. But to just do all day filming, recording, talking about shoes, talking about product I love. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, welcome back to Eric's me, Danny. Welcome to video seven of the Adidas pre spring summer 23 drop. I should be, I should have got used to just rolling that off the tongue, haven't I? But I've, I still need to think about it. And we have come to what I think a, most people are excited about, I think. Or maybe that's just my slight bias, but a lot of people, we expect a certain sort of thing and we expect some things. This I did not see coming from the Special team. And we have got the Denim Italia SPZL. Here we go. Check these bad boys out. What we're saying about these. Now for, you, for those of you who last year, well just a bit more than a year ago, saw me reviewing the CP Italia a couple of years, uh, whenever it was, back in October. And my mind just blew when I saw, Italias are probably one of my favorite silhouettes. So I'm just gonna put that out there straight away. I had loads of pairs between about 2000 and three to about 2005, six, before my kind of, I had to stop collecting shoes because of other things in my life at that point, uh, <clears throat> kids. And yeah, I love Italias. When the CP one came out, I was like, oh my God, Italias, I need to get a pair of these. Now, I got rid of a lot of my shoes a, a few years ago. And either because they were battered, they weren't going to be worn, or I passed them to the people that could wear them, or I sold a few just to raise some funds. But, and, I, and you've seen these, the pair I've kept are in the box. And look at the size on them as well, which is odd. A pair of Italia denims. Now these were in the UK, seven. But I'm pretty sure I used to wear mainly seven and a half and eights. Maybe it was the only ones in the shop. When you're young and you don't care and you just want to look good, I think that's what's happened. And here we go. Here are my <laughs> denim Italians. Now, denim wears over time, like jeans and anything. And mine certainly have. So I used to wear these a lot, like all the time. I mean, you can even see my toe marks through them. That's how much they got worn back in the day. And you can see, they did look very, very close. Look at the, look at the difference between them, between a warm pair of Italias and a pair of new ones. Um, so I didn't realise that Gary had worked on this pair uh, before when they went to, I've forgotten the shop in London. I, I, I do apologise. I didn't get them from that shop. I got them from somewhere else, but we're going to get on to that in a minute. And these are the pair, I just, I loved them. I loved how they wore over time because I loved Italias. Now I've got to be honest, in 2023, I struggle to wear these, not because they're a bit bad, but with denim and things like that. And that's my only reservation about these. I, I, I probably have to wear them with cargos or something and not denim shirt, uh, and not jeans or anything like that. So these haven't really come out to play, but they're still, these are still very wearable. Um, and I'll show you some of the comparisons. So, well, let me show you these ones and we'll go through the comparisons. So obviously a denim upper. Now they did come in two variations. I was buzzing when they did these ones, which was the same mind. They did the reverse as well with the dark denim on, on the T-bar and on the uh, eye stay and the stripes and the light denim for the main part, but they've done they've done the usual, uh, they've, they've done the pair that I've got. So we've got obviously it's denim all the way around. Um, you've got the nice Italia, Adidas Italia 
branding on the side. Now you've got the cross, now the cross didn't come on the pair, uh, on the CP pair on the back and that's that's something I always uh, remember about the Italias I used to get and then you've just got that I absolutely love like a like a tag on a pair of jeans the brown leather Adidas Special that that bit there just looks absolutely fantastic and so just for a couple of comparisons so on my on the old pair they had the little hang tag there in leather and they had a, a, a plain tongue um, and it says, it, I don't know if you can read it on there but it does say, it, it, no, it did say Italia on there so there were some slight differences, oh, I had a little heel tab now I've got to say, and I'm not too, I don't want to be critical I actually prefer it with a bit of a heel tab I mean, let me know what you think each to their own, I think a heel tab on there but it's a cleaner cut, so again I'm thinking beer gardens uh, no socks on or no show socks it might look a little bit cleaner the other difference is, excuse me you can see the soles are different so it's got the, the old pair have got a much thicker gum sole and you can see where the white runs out whereas on the new pair the white runs right to the front uh, right to the toe cap and it just has a thin gum sole I actually prefer that, I think it gives it a cleaner look on the new pair compared to the old pair and then you get the little thin laces and the little gold eyelets all the way up as well I love this pair and I love I love the fact I almost wish it should have my date of birth on the inside you know what I mean that's that's kind of what I think because I've got the old pair and I'm, I'm gonna have to have a new pair they're just so good. Um, like I said, these are it, sample size, eight and a half. Let me just try them on for you. Because the denim, they can be quite stiff um, and they feel a little bit stiff. So let me just slide them on and see how they fit. But with jeans, I'm not too sure they go with jeans myself. Some people might, might I don't know, too. But I think I'd be going true to size. Yeah. I'll be going true to size on my uh, on my Italias. I, I was just I was just amazed when I walked into the Special FC exhibition and I saw them. I was like, "You are joking!" I I actually thought to myself, "There is no way that they've done a Special Italia in denim." It just wow, and it just. The other thing about, I love about trainers is the nostalgia, the memories it brings of when we were like younger and things like that. And it just all came flooding back and I was like, I need a pair of these in my life. Great, great pair. So, half a, um, true to size, these are a little bit big because they're half size up. And they're £130. Now you're going to say, oh, £130 for a pair of trainers. Let me show you my receipt. I have got the receipt that I paid for these. So I didn't get them brand new, I got these in 2003, well they were brand new but in 2003 uh, so that there was a shop in Leeds and I've spoken about it before called Sneakerville and it was just the most amazing shop. It was it was like a resale shop before resale but wasn't massively resale prices so the little things that you just couldn't find anywhere, you could go to Sneakerville, you had things from America, Japan, you name it, they, they kind of not had it all but they had different things to the things that we were getting in this country. And on here, if you can see the receipt, it says total £110. And that was in, what was it say? The 14th of November 2003. So if you want to say just an extra 20 quid in, you know, 20 years, I don't think that's too bad to be honest. And there we go, put my little treasures back in the box. And there we go, all seven pairs. Um, what do I love? I, I love the Italias. I, I think everyone would probably guess that anyway. Um, I really like the orange Arxtons. I think they're a solid, solid shoe. And yeah, the others I could go for. I really like the white hot chalagas and I like the high havens for, to use as purpose. But for stuff that I'd wear to kind of, I don't want to say show off or flex, but
But if I was going to, do you like when you go to a trainer event or you go to something you think, oh, you want to put something a bit special on? Yes, these would be going on to go to like a laces out or something like that, as would the Arxtons. And that's kind of how I measure trainers, I guess. That's it, seven videos, one day. I'm exhausted. I'm going to lose my voice, I think. No, I like I said at the start, I've really enjoyed it. Just want to say a massive thanks again to Gary and to Sam from Adidas for sorting this out and, and getting the shoes over to me. I really appreciate it. I hope you appreciate the the kind of the, sh the look rounds and the, the size and advice that I can give to you. Obviously, th 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 our, the, the beauty thing about trades is we all like different things. So some people will really, really like something that I'm not bothered about. And do you know what? That's okay. If we all like the same things, it'd be a boring world, you know, and I know it's a bit of a cliche, but it, it really is. The, 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 the diversity should be celebrated in all walks of life and, and the, the, the collection that's been shown today is a diverse collection. There is some, there is actually, you could pick anybody and someone would like something, you know. And I think on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you next time, Yannick. Bye.